Counseling Micro Skills Reflecting Meaning with Sandra Collins and Gina Ko. Gina, welcome. Hi, Sandra. It's nice to meet up again. Yeah, nice to see you again. What are you thinking about that you'd like to spend some time on today? Questioning. Well, as you see in Calgary, spring has arrived in full force. So I'm thinking about the meaning of life, Sandra. <laughs> wow. Okay. So that's a big question. Reflecting meaning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So as we have talked about in prior sessions about, you know, my decisions and my intentionality, when I say yes to certain things or to certain invites, it has to be meaningful. It has to be impactful, right? Because time is limited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're really processing um, your priorities and where it is that you want to invest your time and energy. Reflecting meaning. Right. So in the past uh, little while, I've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel about uh, mental health and about racism and about my anti-racism work and you know these would be shorter clips uh, to invite the audience to uh, learn to unlearn to think about how racism impacts mental health what can we do about it there's lots on my mind Sandra and um, yeah I can see your mind working and I know you're really passionate about this topic offering affirmations so it's a it's another um, it's another way in which you are expressing the things that you value and the people that you value. Reflecting meaning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, regarding meaning, again, time is limited, right? I'm I'm already doing so many a lot of work in different areas. Now, how do I fit this in? I know it's, I do know it's, it's, it's meaningful and I do know, you know, I think, and maybe I don't know, but I think there will be a following and, and people would find it helpful, right? Uh, whether it's colleagues or, or the general public, um, especially maybe racialized peoples, people of color, but then how do I make the time, you know, to do it? And maybe what are the costs for adding that into your life as well? reflecting meaning right what's the, what's the cost would it would it be time away from my children as we've talked about how, you know that that would be you know for sure like it's yeah that would be very hard uh you know would it be ending my podcast that would be you know i don't think i'm ready for that would it be starting small with this new project and not put to, put it putting too much pressure on myself and see where it goes mm. So it's a question not so much about um, your energy and commitment to it, but how to reasonably fit it into your life in a way that allows you to maintain the balance that we've been talking about. Reflecting meaning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. And also, is it meaningful enough right now, you know, right presently for me to dive into that work right away, right? Mm -hmm. and or can it wait as well so yeah so what tells you that something is a now project versus something you can put aside for a while or something that someone else could pick up questioning mm -hmm. I think going back to uh, our co earlier conversation about the be feeling like energized and like it's something I, I need to do it's I think when I get the I I I I not that I'm not energized right now it's it's that I want to make sure I have that uh enough in me right to keep that momentum going I, I don't want to release one video per year that's not <laughs> I want to make sure it's you know released regularly so yeah I feel like when I have more of that 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 in me then it may be time to start. I can see the energy mm -hmm. in your body movement offering immediacy, but it's almost like you're trying to convince yourself <laughs> that you have the energy now to do it. Reflecting meaning. Yes, yes, I'm not fully there yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I'm going to get there though. 
So what I'm hearing in all of this is that um, this is a project that kind of pulls on your heartstrings because you can see where it could go in terms of the impact that it could have. And yet you're trying to be careful because what I know of you, Gina, is that when you do something, you do it and you do a fantastic job. So that also requires space, right? And energy to be able to do that. Summarizing. Yes, I don't want to do something half half I, I, I exactly I want to make sure that I'm fully in and I have it and I do it well which you will when the time is right <laughs>